Good morning! I'm Echo and today I'm going to show you how to make a homemade rustic whole wheat bread. Limit your trip to the bakery and the supermarket by learning to bake bread in the comfort of your own kitchen. My homemade rustic whole wheat bread recipe requires only 6 ingredients. With my easy to follow baking procedure, you'll have a freshly home baked bread anytime for you and your loved ones. The perfect combination of butter spread on this crusty and aromatic whole wheat bread will satisfy your cravings for a great bakery-style bread. Let's get over to the ingredients so we can get started. Good morning! I'm Echo and welcome to Atta's Kitchen! For the ingredients, we'll need 2 cups of whole wheat flour, 1 cup of all-purpose flour, 1 half teaspoon of dry active yeast, 2 tablespoons of honey, 2 teaspoons of salt, and 1 in 1 fourth cups of warm water. Combine the honey and water. Stir and set aside. In a bowl, add the all-purpose flour, the whole wheat flour, salt and yeast. Whisk the dry ingredients together. Pour half of the water mixture into the dry ingredients and stir. The dough will slowly form. Add a little bit more water and continue to mix. If the dough is still dry, add the remaining water mixture. If the dough seems very sticky, add a little bit of wheat flour. Mix again and when you've achieved the correct consistency, Use a spatula to form a ball. Cover the dough with plastic wrap and a clean kitchen towel. Let it rest for 18 to 24 hours at room temperature. The dough is ready when it has doubled in size. The texture of the dough will look like this. Transfer the dough onto a floured workspace. Lightly flour the dough. I like to use a combination of both all-purpose flour and wheat flour. Begin to knead and knock the air out of the dough. Be sure to flour your hands to stop the dough from sticking to your fingers. After kneading for about 5 minutes, form the dough into a ball. Prepare a clean bowl and place a clean kitchen towel onto it. Flour generously and then transfer the dough onto it. Lightly flour the top surface of the dough. Cover the dough and let it prove for 1 hour. Once the dough has doubled in size, carefully transfer it in a floured baking tray. I like to proof my dough using this method because the bowl helps form the dough into a perfect round shape and the kitchen towel adds a rough texture to the dough. Use a sharp knife and score the top of the dough. Before baking, place an oven-proof pot in the lowest level of the oven. Preheat the oven at 200 degrees Celsius. Place the baking tray in the middle level of the oven and quickly pour 2 cups of water into the pot then immediately close the oven. I learned that by doing this, the steam clings to the surface of the dough and it keeps the bread moist. Baking time is about 40 to 50 minutes. Once the bread has formed a crisp golden crust, the bread is ready. Transfer the bread to a wire rack to cool before slicing. This bread is also great for making sandwiches. Stay tuned on my next vlog updates to learn how to make a homemade Philly cheesesteak sandwich with a homemade whole wheat bread. You can store this rustic bread in an airtight container for up to 3 days. You can also make a bunch because this bread freezes very well. Grab your spreadable butter and as always, enjoy! Thank you for watching. Please like and share this video. I will post more cooking vlogs every week. So I hope you will share my Facebook page to your friends. And please consider to subscribe to my YouTube channel as well. Thank you for your support and I'll see you guys soon. Bye!